Do you want a text that looks like this? If you do, then you're watching the right video, so let's just get straight to it. So you start off by putting in like the uh, text that you wanted to say, so I'm just gonna put in, hold on, let's uh, put this to white so you can see it. Oh, that didn't even do anything, hold on. Hoser. Wait, that's not even... So, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it like this, this big. Okay. So, what you wanna start off by doing is you're gonna start off by clicking this arrow over here. And then, text, you're gonna see all of this. You're gonna wanna ignore all of this and click the arrow next to more options. Now you're gonna go to this anchor point grouping all right change this to word all right and then you see grouping alignment you're gonna ignore this one and for this one you're gonna put in negative 45 percent okay all right so now we're halfway done so next what you're gonna want to do is you want to go up here we see the arrow next to animate and just put in scale and you'll get these two, but what you want to do is you want to just select range selector one and click backspace on your keyboard to delete it. And then you're going to go here next to animator one, click add property. You're going to add rotation. Okay. And then you're going to go to add property and add tracking. All right. And last thing you're going to do, not last thing, but you know. You're gonna go to add selector and add expression. Alright, so now we got that done. We're gonna go to scale, you're gonna change this here to zero. Alright, and then for rotation, you can put this to like anything you want, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put in like 48. Uh, but then again, you can put it to whatever you want. And then for tracking type, you wanna put that to after. And tracking amount, you want to put that to negative 21. All right, and then you're you're gonna click the arrow next to expression selector one, and you're gonna see amount. Okay, so you want to click Alt on your keyboard at the same time while you click amount. You're gonna click this clock here at the same time. So you're gonna hold down the Alt key and click on this uh, clock. Okay, twice, like twice. Alright, so now in the description, there's going to be um, like a code or whatever for you to put in here. So let me just get that real quick. Alright, so I got the code. You're just going to paste it in here. And these like frequency things and the decay, you can change like, oh, you can change it to what you want. But yeah, so we're going to close all this and we're going to add motion blur. And once you play it should look something like this all right and you can like you can do a bunch of things with it like it looks like this oh uh, no i'm not gonna play that it's kind of cringe but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's really easy and then you can add effects like glow or like opacity you know what i mean but yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching